today's video on Artistic Digitizer 1.5. I would like to show you today how to create knockdown stitches behind your embroidery. This is very useful for embroidering on towels or minky or anything that has a high loft to it. The knockdown stitches will compress the fabric so that your whatever your embroidery design is will show up on your fabric. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is zoom in so that I can see the design area here. Just go to 50%. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write a name. So I'm going to write my daughter's name, Emily. And the text I'm using is one that I downloaded from the internet called Shink. So I'm going to make my text just a little bigger. And when I go back to selection, now I can click on my text and I can move it to the center of the hoop. And I'm going to change the color because it will make it easier to see. So now we can see our lettering here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, leave it all selected because it is a scroll font. I'm going to leave it all selected and I'm going to do I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to auto border. And I'm going to I'm going to go to half an inch on the outside of the border and I want to running stitch. So now that gives me a border around her name. So if I select all of them with control A and then I go up here to center to hoop. Now we can see that it fits in the hoop. So now I'm going to click on the running stitch and I'm going to go over here to fill and I'm going to choose a net fill. I'm going to leave the cell sizes the same but I want to change the angle so I'm going to do an angle of 30 and now we can see that our lines here are on an angle and then I'm going to change this to be never for the overlaps and now I'm going to choose my background and change the order so that it is, it is at the back. So now when this stitches out we will have the background will be first and then the name will get embroidered afterwards. So if we zoom in, we can see that the lettering is a step fill and the fill is sort of um, like a grid. Now if you wanted to change the net fill, you could change the size of the spaces or you could change the offset properties. You could also change this to a step fill and have a pattern of just number two and then change the density to be 0.25. And now we can see we've got a step fill here on the background. But I'm gonna go back to the net fill because that was my favorite. So that's what it's gonna look like when we stitch it out on the towel. So I'm going to set up the machine now to stitch that out and I'll be right back. Welcome back to how to do knockdown stitches with embroidery. I'm now sitting at my machine which is a Memorycraft 550E and I have my square 20 hoop with some sticky tearaway stabilizer. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to run a pin around the outside edge of my hoop to score the backing so that the sticky portion of the stabilizer is visible for me to tack down my face cloths to. I've gone all the way around the edge and then I'll go down the middle as well and then I should be able just to lift this up and remove it. There we go. This 
method of removing stabilizer is great because if you only wanted to use half of it, then you could just score away the section that you didn't want to use. And then you would still have some stabilizer that is still able to be used. So that's ready there. Uh, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna attach the hoop to the machine here. And now what I want to show you is I want to show you on the editing screen how to get all of your colors to stitch out together. So here's the editing screen. And so what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to go into the, um, the file folder here to open my embroidery designs. And so if I scroll across, I will find the face cloth design that I did. So we can see here that I'm, I'm gonna do four at a time and I've got a green crosshairs. That's for me to put my face cloth against those edges so that they're all lined up properly. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to, I'm looking at the screen now and I I've, I've, can see my crosshairs here. So now I'm going to stitch that out just so that we can see where those that placement has to go. So I will move over here so you can see. And I'm all threaded and I'm gonna put the foot down and I'm gonna start. Okay, so now it stops and is telling me that it's time for the next color. So before I start the next color, I'm going to lift my presser foot and now I'm going to place down a cloth on each corner of my crosshairs. And this is gonna help everything stay in the right place because I also am using the sticky stabilizer so that works out really good. And then the third one is going to go here. And the fourth one is going to go in the back corner. So once I have all of my face cloths all lined up, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually not going to stitch the next layer of stitches, but I want to do a baste all the way around just to make sure that everything is nicely secured. So I'm going to scroll through my menu here and I'm going to go to do a baste and I'm going to put the foot down and then I'm going to say start. So we're going to do a baste next. see that I wasn't quite paying attention so I'm going to clip that thread so that it doesn't get stuck and put that back down and then I'm going to keep going. All 
right, so now we have our cloth basted down. And so next up, I'm going to stitch the background of our first knockdown stitch. So I'm gonna press start. So we can see that it's going back and forth. And so we're just gonna let that stitch here and I will come back to show you what it looks like when it's finished doing that first set of knockdown stitches. So as you can see, we've got our knockdown stitches stitched now and I've rethreaded the machine with a shocking bright pink uh, Janome embroidery thread. And so now we're going to stitch the rest of the name and uh, it shouldn't take too long so we can watch it while we do that. If you remember from our video, it's doing a step stitch and I thought that that would be the nicest because it's going on the terry cloth and then it'll be nice and flat for when she uses it to wash her face. We can see the first letter there looks really good. There's the letter E. So we'll let this continue stitching and then I will come back to show you what it looks like when it's all finished. Now how adorable is that cute little monogrammed face cloth? My daughter is definitely going to love it and they won't get mixed up with anyone else's. I hope you enjoyed watching our video today. Thanks for coming. Have a great day.